Welcome to CAD Engineer. In this video, we are going to see introduction to part molding. Let's see what is part molding. So part modeling is a process of creating components, models using sketch based features and applied features. So sketch based features are those features we are making a 2D sketch and converting that 2D sketch into 3D by using some 3D tools like extrude, revolve, sweep, loft commands. And applied features are those features where we have existing 3D model. On the 3D model, we'll apply some features like fillets, chamfer and modify them. So that will be applied features. So whenever we start doing part modeling, the first feature that we make in the software is called a base feature. And on that base feature, if you make second thing that will cause a boss feature. And the base feature can be a extrusion, a revolve, a sweep, a loft, a thickening of a surface or a sheet metal. So here you can see uh, so many images of the different different part bodies. We have already created some project before starting to the part modeling. So you can go through and understand how we can make any part models by using solid modeling concepts. So let's see this part models, how we have made by using the sketch base and applied feature concepts and converting it to a part models. So here you can see this project, this project we have made by using different different features. So here you see we have made a sketch base feature. So first we have added a sketch and then we added extrude material to that part. Next here after that we have made a sketch and convert it into extrude feature. Then again we have made one more sketch base feature. And we have added a material on that. Then later on what we did, we have removed the material from this face to make this part. So this part we have made completely by using sketch base features only. Let's see more parts. So here you can see this is a connecting rod. This connecting rod is a combination of both applied features and sketch base features. So you can see first these three features we have made with sketch base the first part these two parts we have made by making sketches we can see the sketches of the part the sketches we have made and then we have applied extrude features then again we have joined them by using extrude feature by making a sketch between them then we have added a side features to that and we extruded that then we have applied some fillet features to rounding the edges and then we have applied again a sketch base features to remove the material from the part sides let's see more projects so we can see this part this part is made by using multiple features here we have used loft command a loft command which make multiple cross sections to join them this is a sketch base feature then extrude this parts then this again we have extruded here then we have used revolved features at bottom to revolve the part and again lot of sketch base features we have used it and here we have some places we have used fillet features that is a applied feature now let's see another projects so here we can see this is a sheet metal component this is also made by using multiple sketch base and applied features so here you can see this part we have used sketch base features to make that part then we have used as brand that is a direct feature there's applied features then again we have done some cutouts then we have ma made some vent shapes and lowers so lowers are what direct features bends we have to draw sketches for it so this is again a combination of applied and sketch based features let's see another project so we can see this part this part is also made by the combination of multiple sketch based and applied features so mostly we have sketch base features only if you see this part is made by extrude we have made extrude to this sketch then we have just put lot of cuts on this part we have cut the material we have cut the material from the bottom faces so these are what all our sketch base features rib is also a sketch base feature that is added a support on the part body and then we have mirrored that part on another side so this is how we have made this part so this is how we use a multiple sketch based and applied features in the combinations to make a 3D models or 3D geometries. 
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो